We've all seen them, we all know what they look like, and we all know how beneficial these things are to our aquariums. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to make a beautiful moss ball in your aquarium using a simple product like this one here. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to listen to everything I have to say. going everyone welcome back to keep fish simple so in today's video I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make a moss ball in your aquarium using a simple product like the one I have here now if you don't know what a moss ball is it's pretty much just a little holder that uh, lets you grow a large amount of moss into the shape of a nice little round uh, cylindrical ball on the aquarium and moss balls have a like a, a wide range of uses in the aquarium and benefits. So, moss balls are really good for taking out a lot of those uh, nasty ammonias and nitrates and turning them into uh, actual beneficial uh, chemicals that your plants can use in the aquarium to grow and uh, help naturally filter out the aquarium. And also, those moss balls are really good in shrimp aquariums and aquariums with little nano fish for a bunch of reasons and uh, the main reason is that they allow little microbacteria and microorganisms to develop, to develop in the uh, moss ball and in turn create um, a lot of natural foods for uh, baby fish and baby shrimplets to use to grow. So if you don't have a moss ball in your shrimp aquariums, I'd highly recommend getting one and uh, developing one. It's super simple and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. Uh, I've tried attaching things to rocks and uh, it takes a long time to do that. Uh, what I have here is a simple moss ball holder and now these are available on my website. I've left the link down there below and if you're a new customer, there's a 10% off code down there too. Yeah, but these are super useful. Pretty much I'm going to show you, uh, I'll just quickly take this out of the packet for you and show you how to set it up and how to do it. And the reason this is better than using a rock or any other kind of moss ball holder is for the fact that there's a lot of uh, little weights that are in this and allow it to sink to the bottom of the aquarium. And also, those little weights are actually made of uh, uh, little fertilizers. Now, the fertilizers uh, help the moss to grow quicker because there's uh, a lot more nutrients for them to grow faster. So, if you have a product like this in your aquarium uh, with a bunch of good lighting, uh, your moss ball is going to develop super fast. So, right, so, before I go and show you how to set this thing up over there, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you went and uh, liked me on Facebook and joined our Facebook group. Uh, it's growing heaps uh, quick and there's heaps of members in there and we're all growing as a little community and there's no spam, just, just helping each other out every single day and making this hobby a little bit easier for each other. And also, I finally set up an Instagram, so if you guys want to go check that out, I've left the link down below. Uh, if you want to go give me a follow, I'm going to try and be really active on there for you guys and keep you updated with what I'm doing in the aquarium hobby. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started on the setup. Alright, so we're in the kitchen now and we have our moss and we have our moss ball. Now, the moss I'm going to be using for my project is Java Moss. Now, this is available in pretty much every single fish store you'll go to. Uh, this is a super good plant for beginners, uh, grows really quick. Um, and it's super durable. So this is good out of the water for six months. You can chuck that back in your aquarium and it'll grow like crazy. So it's super easy. This attaches to plants, uh, attaches to driftwood, and it's also really good in our moss ball. So I'm gonna take the moss ball out of the packet. So this is what it'll come like if you buy it from my store. Um, and pretty much take it out of the Ziploc bag and you'll have our little product here. So here's the moss ball. Be careful to shake it up too much because we got all these little fertilizers in there but this is what it looks like. So it's super simple, uh, super easy to use, and it's pretty small. It's good for, it's really good for nano aquariums. Right, so we have our moss ball here out of the packet, and it's really simple to put in the moss. So all we're gonna do is there's a little thing underneath here, you can see it from the other angle, and we just twist it, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and our little compartment comes out. So this is where all the nutrients come out, they come out through here and that fuels the plant and it's just it just simply twists out and what we're going to want to do is we're going to pack all of our moss into this cage so get it all try and make it look it doesn't really matter because it's a really really hardy product but just jam it in there and then you got to try and leave a little gap for that drill bit to go back in so like that and try and do it like that and then get the fertilizer compartment and drill that bad boy back in there like that until it's tight. It's super easy. And then what we're left with is this. So this sits at the bottom of the aquarium. Give it a couple uh, weeks, about a month, and we will have all of our moss growing out there and making a beautiful display. So we'll just, I'll show you how, um, we're gonna put this in the aquarium and I'll show you um, the progress of it over the next couple of months while it's in there. I've used these in the past, they're super easy to use. Uh, definitely recommend getting one of these. Uh, they're available in the store down below. 
Um, and yeah, all right, let's go put this in the aquarium. <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna be using it in my shrimp aquarium. Uh, I've had a lot of success with this aquarium. It's got some uh, little endler guppies in here and it's got some shrimp. So it's gonna be really good for this aquarium because it has uh, such little fish in there and uh, I'm sure they're gonna enjoy having all these little microbacteria in here. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I put this in here. So I'm just gonna take the lid off of the aquarium and pretty much all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in this section of the aquarium. So I'm just gonna drop it in here like this. Put it down here with all these little baby fish. And I'm just gonna leave it there. And it's as simple as that. So that's pretty much how easy this thing is to use. So you've seen how easy this thing is to use. Uh, it took me literally like two minutes to set up. Now it's gonna make a really good display in my aquarium. Um, and it's gonna provide heaps and heaps of nutrients for all the fish in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as well, if you're interested in buying this, uh, go and check it out in the store. Uh, there's a code down below if you want 10% off. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.